Jesus shall continually be in my mouth. Clap your hand and say yes, Lord. I said, clap your hand and say yes, Lord. I said, clap your hand and say yes, Lord. For this is the day that the Lord hath made. And we will rejoice and be glad. And when Bishop read the scripture, and it said that when they cried, I said, when they cried, do I have anybody in here that had to cry sometime? I wish I had a quartet witness that says trouble in my way. I had to cry sometime. Is there anybody that had to cry sometime? Cry in the morning. Cry in the noonday. Cry in the evening. Take me out. Anybody had to cry when nobody was there to wipe your tears. But the Bible says that they cried unto the Lord and he delivered. Do I have a deliverance witness in the building? He delivered you from the car accident. He delivered you from the diagnosis. Shut up, I saw you. He delivered me. Why don't you nudge your neighbor if you're not too stuck up and say, neighbor, lie, neighbor, neighbor, he delivered me. And the Bible says, somebody shout the Bible. The Bible says that when they cried out unto him, and the problem with some of us is we on the phone crying to everybody else. And I know you hurt. I said, I know you hurt that you need a shoulder to, to cry on. To, but Elder, I just believe that when God was doing a metamorphosis in your mind, heart, and spirit, you didn't look for your homeboys. You didn't look for your family to, because those shoulders are too weak. Those shoulders are too short. But somebody shout, I know my daddy. I said, I know my daddy has broad shoulders because he's Elohim. He's El Shaddai. He's Jehovah Jireh, my provider. He's Jehovah Rapha. He's my healer. He's Jehovah Sidkenuk. He's a bridge. Come on with me now. I said, he's a bridge over travel water he's the bright and morning star take me high well they cried unto the lord and he delivered them out of all of their distresses i wish i had time to do an etymology of that word distress but needless to say in the hebrew it means a narrow place. Oh, shucks now. Do I have anybody in here that God had to deliver out of a tight place? Y'all looking at me strange. But do I have somebody honest to say, Preacher, I was in a tight place. Can the church say yes? But when you're in a tight place, don't call your mama to don't cry to your girlfriend don't cry to your homeboy but i dare you i said i double dog dare you to, to cry unto the lord and his number is never busy he don't ignore your calls and put it to ignore but i'm so glad that my daddy always has time to talk to me well let me make it personal the last three years have been some of the most difficult years of my life. No income, no steady employment. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And to have all these millionaire friends, connections all across the country, and nothing would happen. I feel like crying right now because I had a bishop 
and a first lady that would never let us go hungry that make sure we had gas to get him back and forth y'all don't want to say nothing to, and i want to thank you for being a blessing to my family and when I felt like I was nothing to, while y'all was looking at Facebook pictures with me with all the stars I was taking pictures with no money in my pocket praying that I got home but I'm so glad that I didn't call Tyrone I didn't call AT&T but I cried unto Jesus what's his name what's his name and he delivered me and I understand that what's past is past but what I'm heading to is greater to say yes somebody shout I paid the price in tears I paid the price in tears I paid the price in pain but what's to come is better than what's been because my daddy somebody shout my daddy is escorting me out is delivering me from a tight place clap your hands and say yes say yes say yes Let everybody stand. Everybody stand. Glory to God. Mm. Woo. Mm. Come on, come on, praise the 